Let's see how the iPhone 15 Pro Max stacks up against the iPhone 12 Pro in a LiDAR scanning test. I will compare the resulting 3D models with measurements captured with a laser tool as well as with the original 2D floor plan. The scanning process took around 3 minutes. Find more videos on this topic on our channel and visit our website for articles and more information about Apple LiDAR and documenting existing buildings. Here are the resulting 3D models next to each other. First let's look at the immediate visual differences. As we can see here on the wall cabinets in the kitchen, they look smooth and nice on the 15 version, but they are quite messy on the 12 version. There are other similar small artifacts and differences between the two models, but nothing major and this is normal I would say. Overall the shape of the 15 version looks a bit off to me here. And when I investigated this further, I saw that the amount of polygons is much lower on the model from the iPhone 15. The 12 version looks normal and darker due to the higher density of polygons. I'm not sure how and why this happened, and it's not how I imagined the test, but anyway, here I'm dragging the 15 model on top of the 12 model for comparison. The orange to red mesh is from the 15 Pro Max, and it looks slightly out of shape. I proceeded to measure both 3D models in Blender. I'm showing you here briefly how and where I took the measurements. Next I drafted up the basic shape of the floor plan so that it's easier to see and compare. We can see here that the iPhone 12 version fits better inside the straight lines and 90 degree angles in the CAD floor plan. Basically I had to make some larger assumptions and adjustments when I was following the shape of the 15 version. And you can see a difference here between the two models if you look at the spaces between the rooms, which is actually the wall thickness in the model. They are noticeably different between the two models. Here are the drawings from the property owner. They are a little bit off perspective but they're good enough for this rough test. The property is a two-floor villa with bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs. It has a large private pool and a pool house. And we have about half of that shown on these drawings, but at least we have something so we can take a look at a typical case. Let's start by looking here at the 45 degree angled walls that go into the TV room. They are missing from the 2D floor plan. There's also a door here between the laundry room and the TV room which is not there in reality and the exterior door placement and the size of the bathroom also looks incorrect. The cabinets are also incorrect in the laundry room and here in the kitchen. For me the biggest thing that is problematic with these 2D drawings is the exterior walls, doors and windows. Especially in a case like this where we do not have the facade drawings. The 2D drawings show more and wider openings for sliding doors than what they ended up building. So let us take a closer look also at this point. The wall here, you can see where there is a cabinet with three doors and a clock on the wall, is not there on the drawing. Um, there are also other small differences between the drawings and the reality which we can see here on the scan. Not so easy to see the different types of doors and windows here on the plans. And now for the measurement comparison. I used the laser tool to take these measurements that I highlighted in red and you can see the difference between the 12 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. Next I drafted up the outlines of the first floor based on the two scans to check the difference in the total square meter size. The 12 Pro version is very close to the actual size and the total footprint from the 15 Pro Max scan is around 6 square meters larger than that. Please comment if you have any questions or feedback on this video, subscribe and click the thumbs up if you liked the video. This video is brought to you by LiDAR3D.io. We are an independent consultant and 3D production company and we help both businesses and individuals to design workflows create systems and upgrade 2D drawings to 3D models. So start your journey to digitize your property portfolio in a cost efficient way and reach out to us today to learn more. Thanks for watching.